Autism is an interesting disease because it's, it's almost like a microcosm or a hologram for everything that goes wrong across all chronic diseases. Alzheimer's and autism and Parkinson's are all part of the same cluster of things that happen to affect the vulnerable population, which is the very young and the very old. It's not that you have autism, it's that you develop autism. We wanted to see how it develops. And we're coming up with a profile that is consistent with a brain that's inflamed and a little swollen. There's a clear increase in prevalence and the, the simplest way to kind of get the noise out is just go through the school systems and look at the numbers of children who are needing extra services. This intimate relationship we share with our environment with all this new stuff that's been thrown into it, that we have these yellow canaries in our society that, that are picking up that information and translating it through their body's function into a whole variety of, of new things that are related to immune system activation, one of which may be autism in children, another of which may be autoimmune disease in, in adults. One of our biggest problems is that we're looking for the smoking gun as if there's one thing that's causing these, this epidemic of epidemics. There is no one thing. If biology worked that way, one thing at a time, honestly, there would be no life on Earth. Parents need to understand that autism, as they already know, is a multifaceted condition. And everything that they reduce, whether it's EMF or pesticides in their food, or increase sleep in their kid, or reduce the yelling in the home. The ketogenic diet by itself, sometimes you see miracle happening in just a matter of days. Sometimes it is all it takes. What we do in integrative medicine is much more along the spectrum, just like kids are along the spectrum, function is along, functional medicine is along the spectrum. One of the reasons a lot of us gravitate towards autism is that almost anything that could go wrong has gone wrong. My thought process is if you can understand autism and all the biochemistry that goes along with that, you can pretty much tackle any disorder at that point. Exactly. Doctors are really not taught how to think now. With, with an eight to ten minute office visit, Yes. it's prescription pattern. The old view of autism was that some of the mothers were cold and uncaring, which is the polar opposite of what my experience has been. To a mom who is both the seed and the soil. Mm -hmm. So it's not just about having the best egg possible, but it's also the, the place where that egg is going to develop. Do you ever intend to have a child? Because if you intend to have a child, the day for you to start detoxing is today. Children are smarter and happier and more focused when they spend time outside in nature. And there are studies that look at um, playgrounds, you know, if they're very highly natural playgrounds versus kind of standard playgrounds, the kids who are on the highly natural playgrounds will perform better on tests and perform better in the classroom. The cells that provide attention are the most vulnerable because their high firing rate means they have a high metabolic demand. They generate a lot of reactive oxygen species. What if their antioxidant capabilities were impaired? Mm -hmm. Then that high firing rate would be tr really dangerous for them. Five years ago, it was discovered that we had an organ that weighs about two kilos that is heavier than the liver or the brain that is absolutely fundamental for the development and function of all the other organs, from the brain to the immune system to the GI tract that had gone completely unnoticed and undetected. And it is called the microbiota or microbiome. One of the key bacteria we find in kids with autism is Clostridia. In a study we published several years ago with 50-some children with autism, almost as many controls, we found short-chain fatty acids were significantly lower in kids with autism versus controls. Your child is a gift now as they are. They may be wrapped in nine layers of wrapping paper, and our job is to remove those layers of wrapping paper one at a time to get to the true gift inside. But don't forget that at every step of the way, your child is a gift.